What is going on, Pokemon collectors? Today, we are taking a look at a little bit more expensive cards today. We're going to do Pokemon cards between $100 and $150, and a lot of these are going to be mostly Sword and Shield era. There's not a ton from Scarlet and Violet, although we do have some in there, and there's a little bit of old school thrown in there. We'll get to that uh, shortly, but these are kind of cards that, if, as we look at this Aerodactyl, this one's the cheapest on the list. We're going to move up, but uh, $101, and these are cards that, you know, these. it starts to be like, when you first start collecting, you know, you're getting, uh, when you first get your first $20 card, $30 card, seems like a lot. Once you start cracking into these $100 cards, these are like kind of getting into big time cards. These are really great um, cornerstones for your collection, especially when you're early on, and some of these are a little undervalued, and we're going to talk about that. First up is the Aerodactyl V. This is from Lost Origin. If you guys can see the chart right here, and if you've watched any of my recent videos, you know that I just picked up this card. I did not have this, and at 100 bucks right now, it's it was it did go a little bit below 100, but it's kind of evening out right here, and it seems like it's really going to be holding that $100 mark possibly. So this might be a good entry point. Now, if you take a look at the card, Aerodactyl is not the most popular Pokemon, but Gen 1 solid, and I love these type of cards that have all of the other Pokemon in the background. It's a great looking card. So, and if we pull up the one year chart here, we'll just take a look here. Obviously, we had the big alt art boom right here. It didn't, it it was in the 80s. So, 80 to in the 130s was a pretty big run up. And it's retraced down to 100. So, um, yeah, this definitely is looking at possibly the new floor for Aerodactyl. So, if you're thinking about picking it up, now might be a good time. Next up, this is like crazy that this card is this cheap. The Giratina. Uh, we've talked about this before, but absolutely stunning. I hate in these, for the gold cards specifically, these pictures or scans or whatever these are, they don't do it anywhere near justice. This card is absolutely stunning. Now, this card, I feel, is a bit interesting, especially because of how low it is right now. Uh, 107, very affordable. It did dip down here to 102. It's on a little bit of an uptick leveling off, bounce off that $100 uh, dollar mark there. If we pull up the one-year chart, got the big boom right here. Only went up to 138. You could have been picking this card up for in the 60s, which is crazy. But now it's definitely holding strong at a $100 card. This card, what's interesting, and you, what you have to think about, if you're collecting or investing, a lot of the times there's other sets or other cards that can raise the value. Now with this card, if you're not familiar, there's the Lost Origin Giratina, which is like a 300 plus dollar card right now it's doing it's crazy super stunning beautiful card right um if that card takes off if lost origin starts to take off this card might go kind of with that once the if the giratina from lost origin is already like out of some people's price range they look to the next best thing and this is it for giratina this is the next best card so um just keep that in mind if lost origin starts to do things that this gold giratina can move so yeah um 107 seems cheap for this card, honestly. Crown Zenith is just a crazy set. It's too bad it was a specialty set. If it would have been a booster box set, this these cards would be so expensive. Next up, we have the Rayquaza V. This is a uh, alternate art from Evolving Skies. Now, you, if you Evolving Skies is like crazy, the cards are so expensive. But this card, honestly, this is one of those ones where I look at it and then same thing. Look, it's hitting its bottom. 110 111 dollars very steady right for a while now if you look at the boom here it ran up to just about 150 before that it was in the 70s 150 and now it's 110 111 dollar card but epic pokemon extremely popular legendary pokemon uh i really like these trainer cards the the cards with the trainer i like the other what is this whimsor is that how you yeah, i think that's whimsor yeah I, and yeah it's all scared or whatever yeah, I absolutely love it. This is like a, I can't tell, I'm getting like a Dune vibe from my, I can't tell if she's on the sand or not. But anyways, yeah. Um, I, I love the, the trainer cards. And similar to the Giratina, I'm not saying that this is going to happen, but just a possibility, something to think of, is when we finally get, so there's a new set coming, should be next year, where they're going to do trainer cards, where it'll say, um, like, you know, like Misty's Starmie or whatever. And this is a kind of a different trainer card where it doesn't say that. 
but there is a potential for these kind of cards to run up if that set takes off. So that's just another thing to think about. So um, legendary Pokemon, super stunning card. Um, yeah, it's obviously finding its bottom at 111, 110. So that indicates to me that this is a good time to pick up this card as well. A lot of these alt arts are doing that right now. So it's a very common theme that you'll see throughout. But 111 bucks for a really cool Rayquaza. I don't think you can go wrong. Next up, uh, this is the first Charizard of the list. There are several on the list. I do apologize, but they are at interesting price points. Now, this one is a little bit different. If you pull up the chart for this guy, we'll uh, zoom out a little bit here. So, this didn't have the big alt art run up because this was just released. You can see it came out of the gate at release. Hit as high as 180 uh, beginning of this year. And it came down to as low as 103, kind of bounced off that. And it's been holding very steady um, from Paldean Fates, which has kind of been a little bit of an impressive set, kind of under the radar. The set value is kind of up there. But this card with this price, so with this Charizard, what I find interesting is whether you like it or not, the Terra type with the crown. They're kind of becoming popular. Their Pokemon's like really leaning into it. You got the Greninja now with the crown. So I think it people are accepting it. I think kind of people didn't really like it at first, which a lot of times change people don't like, which is totally fine. But this, uh, yeah, at 116, this is a pretty solid pickup. The only thing we don't know, I would be a little more hesitant with this Charizard compared to there's some other ones coming up on the list that... I'm a bit more bullish on, if I'm being honest, and I'll tell you why when we get there. This one I'm a little bit more hesitant of, but just because specialty set, I mean, and I do like this artwork a lot. Actually, I do think that I do think that it's very cool and it's unique. But yeah, it did make the list just because I do think there's not there's not a ton of cards between 100 and 150. Very specific um, subset. So it made the list for that reason. I don't think it's a bad card by any means. I'm not trying to talk it down. Uh, but that's kind of the vibe I'm giving. It's just... Uh, compare this to some of the other Charizards that we're going to touch on. Um, if you still like it, it's I still think it's a great card. Right? I don't um, personally own this card yet. It is on my list. I do I do like Charizard a lot. So I do want it to be on my li uh, in my collection at some point. Next up, we'll move on to the Magikarp. This is from Paldea. Now, this card is very interesting, and it's kind of controversial. If you guys aren't familiar, this is uh, not an SIR. This is just an IR from Paldea Evolved, which is a really great set. And it's crazy that the Magikarp ended up being the most expensive card from that set. It Honestly, it's kind of wild. And it had, its big, it had a big run-up. It was a very steady, like... Could have got this for 50 bucks, and it just slowly kind of... Then it hit a big uptick to 100. And yeah, it was 150, and now it's leveling out around 115. And this card's been doing crazy numbers in a PSA 10. This is because it's hard to grade. There's a lot of uh, print lines or scratches or, you know, off-center. All those things that would prevent it from getting a 10. And so that's why the 10 prices are high. But I absolutely love this artwork. So if you guys aren't familiar, Gyarados, who's right here hiding is the channel the channel logo right my favorite pokemon gyarados and so obviously i gotta give magikarp some love gyarados is in the card and this card honestly it's just artwork wise so it, this is the same artist that did the the giratina from lost origin so same style you can tell um just a stunning card so that's why it's on the list and similar chart it's leveling out showing good strength at around $115, $116. Super cool card. Um, the only thing that could really affect this card, uh, which we don't know for, for sure, is if we get a reprint. Paldea evolved reprint with kind of where the boxes are going. It would make sense for that to happen. Uh, and that's kind of like I'm waiting for a Paldea reprint personally. I, I do think it's going to happen. Uh, we just don't know when. And it is possible that it doesn't happen. Like, Pokemon Company can do whatever they want. So, we don't. But since it's the highest... Currently, it's the most expensive booster box Paldea is. So, it might, might, might make sense that it gets a reprint at some point. We just don't know when that'll be. And if they don't reprint it, they don't reprint it. But, uh, yeah. Magikarp. Great card. Can't go wrong. One of my favorite Pokemon. 
Next up, we have, okay, if you are familiar with the channel, you're going to hear me go on about this card. I do it all the time because this I, this is $127 right now. This is from Brilliant, Brilliant Stars, which is a which is a good set. And it hit its bottom right here, 123 bounced off, and it's now around 127. I stand by and I will die on the hill. This is the best Charizard artwork we've ever gotten, in my opinion. Fighting the Venusaur, the mountains in the background, absolutely stunning. I love his tail right here. It's on fire. There's little, like, little things coming off of fire. Like, absolutely love it. I know that him fighting Mewtwo is pretty cool, but I like this artwork style better, personally. So, with this card, there's this card is just too cheap. So, when this card had its run-up right here, and it hit 200... I thought I kind of thought that that made more sense. Maybe 175, 200 range for raw made a lot more sense to me, and I thought it was being properly valued. I know there's a lot of them out there, uh, but you can't always play that game because there's a lot of Moonbrions out there. There's a lot of PSA 10 Moonbrions. There's over 12,000 graded now, so you can't always play the pop game. Um, but there are exceptions to the rule. Obviously, supply and demand is a thing. But yeah, that's the Charizard V. I don't want to rant on too much longer about it. I love this card. Um, I have multiple copies of this uh, in a PSA 10 because I believe in it that much. So that's just me personally. I think it's extremely undervalued. So when you compare, this is what I was talking about, when you compare this Charizard at 127 to this one at 116, I think this one has more upside. That's just my opinion though. And then next up, we're going to just jump straight into another Charizard. <laughs> um, 151 is crazy. So like also artwork, like I don't, love this artwork for Charizard. I honestly might be a hot take, might be controversial. I like the Venusaur and the Blastoise artworks way more than this Charizard, but Charizard is epic and it is cool. Like I do like it. It's just not as good. So when you like come on guys, this is way better, right? Um but 151 is crazy. Everyone is collecting it. Everyone's wanting to master set it. Uh if you guys like have been following the channel or you're on the Discord, like the booster bundles are coming in stock. People are gobbling them up left and right. People are so savage for this product. That's why this card's on the list. Because it's Charizard. It's right in the middle of our price point between 100 and 150. 127 bucks. You can't really go wrong. Um, but yeah, it's it's not at its one year high. It did hit 135-ish was its high uh, in November of last year. So that is interesting. And it never really dipped below. It almost went below 100, but it didn't. And it's climbing back up. So we don't know where this card's going to go. But with the, like, I mean, up on the three month, up on the one month, right? So it's on the uptick. Crazy card, crazy set, crazy demand. That's why this, this card deserves to be on this list. Just artwork-wise, it doesn't quite do it for me. Next up, we're going to throw a little bit of a curveball at you guys. Uh, so 133 range, I'm throwing in base set blastoise you can pick up a base set blastoise near mint for around 130 bucks now it's the only card that meets from like the base set that meets uh the price criteria uh the venusaur was less than 100 and the charizard obviously is in like the 200 range uh no that's base set two base set two charizards in the 200s uh yeah near mint base set charizards more than that so but the blastoise meets it and so for me, Nostalgia, I, I got to throw it on the list, right? Love this card. I like this artwork a lot, too. I don't think you can go wrong. Um, so yeah, if you don't have this in your collection, if you want to pick up a near mint copy, you're looking at 130 bucks. We don't need to go too deep into it, but we'll pull up the one-year chart. And you'll see it's actually, it was about 150 was its one-year high. So it is down a little. Um, it's on the uptick a little from where it hit its bottom, 114. So uptick up to around 130s so cool card if you don't like vintage you don't like vintage but i love vintage so i had to throw at least one vintage card in there and yeah blastoise come on next up we are moving into astral radiance machamp alt art same chart as these other alts right got the run up one it almost wow 190 it was getting close to 200 and came down and now it's around a 120 128 like almost 130 now so it hit its bottom it's leveling out this is kind of where the market's accepting it once again kind of like the aerodactyl not the most popular pokemon 
but Gen 1 and love the artwork, right? I love him using all his arms to carry all this stuff. Really cool card. Um, yeah, so at this price point, I couldn't see this bouncing out of this price point. A lot of these cards, honestly, I could see bouncing out of this price point and surpassing 150. This is another one of them. Um, Sword and Shield's kind of on the back burner right now. A lot of people are looking forward to Scarlet and Violet, the new sets, right? So these are kind of on the back burners, which might mean it's a good time to pick up a lot of these, but but Champ V, great looking card. Uh, next up, okay, so this might be my favorite card from Evolving Skies, if I'm being honest. Like, the Moon Brown's cool and everything, and I like Evolutions a lot, but I really like Dragonite a lot. And I like this, like, sleepy, he's yawning. Um, yeah, honestly. Um, once again, we're going to bring back a theme of I like Pokemon in the background. You got Spiro and Firo flying in the background underneath. So it's a big winner card for me. Pull up the one-year chart just to look at it. Had its big run-up, hit almost $200, came back down, and it leveled out. And now it's on a little bit of an uptick, kind of. Um, yeah, so still... You can see at the end of this three month, it's still down, hit 126, and now it's kind of bouncing back up into the 130s. So Dragonite V at 130, super stunning card. Evolving Skies is just proving to be insane, kind of like 151, but on another level. So it's kind of possibly only up from here for Evolving Skies. So yeah, and more popular Gen 1 Pokemon, so... Dragonite V. You know, and you know what's crazy? I pulled this card. It was one of my craziest pulls ever. I, honestly, I never have good luck pulling cards. I pulled the Umbreon V and the Dragonite V in back-to-back -back packs. It was crazy. Uh, if you want to see that, it's on the channel. Um, but yeah, absolutely nuts. You'll have to go way back on the channel to see it, but um, it's there. So yeah, super cool card. Um, next up, this, this one... I don't quite like as much, if I'm being honest. It is a cool-looking card. I just, I'm not a big fan of the Galarian version of Moltres. I actually like the Galarian Articuno and Galarian Zapdos more. And this card is kind of, it doesn't, it's still kind of on the way down. So, if you're looking at picking up this one, you might want to wait a little. It hasn't really leveled out quite as much as some of the other ones. But, we go back to the one-year chart here, and 177 is where it hit. And you can see... You're looking, it's still kind of, you know, on a, on a downward slope a little. Looks like it might finally be leveling out. But Legendary Gen 1, so it's popular Pokemon, super cool. But for me, it just it doesn't quite do it. Although I do like the colors and everything going on and all these, all this stuff in the background, like the these eyes in here. Um, yeah, it's it's cool, just the Pokemon for me. Yeah, so this, uh, this is one, so this is Chilling Rain. This is one I don't have in my collection, and I'm fine. Like, I'll hold off on this one. But, yeah. So, yeah, Moltres, I guess I'm a little bit more down on this one, and it's a bit more expensive. I'd let it run to the end. See where how low this one can go. Uh, last card. The Tyranitar V. Now, this card, really popular Pokemon. I don't know if really popular, but popular. And absolutely love the artwork. So, this is from Battle Styles, which is kind of regarded as like not a very good set this introduced alt arts though and i really like this card a lot I honestly just absolutely love the sleep i love the sleepy cute ones i guess he just ate a bunch of food and he's just sleeping it off who who hasn't done that so um artwork wise i absolutely love it we got pokemon in the background checking a box for me and so if we pull up the one year chart this one ran up to once again almost hit 200 a lot of these cards almost hit 200 in that big alt art run up and this card seems to be leveling out at around 140 but then it kind of ticked down a little so with you know, like i said this one i really like i can definitely see this one surpassing 150 maybe getting into 175 200 range again at some point but i think the set is kind of holding it back right now so uh, i might i might I might hold off just a little bit if you're looking at picking up this one just to kind of see to make sure it bottoms out um because yeah on here we just don't know quite yet so the tyranitar love the card though um this is another card so the tyranitar i also don't currently have <laughs> i'm really i mean come on guys don't don't be too hard on me these alt arts are 
expensive. They're very expensive, but I'm working on it. So, um, yeah, that was my, it was just a quick little list of cards between a hundred and one fifty. It's a very specific price range. If you're picking up cards in this price range, you're very serious, um, about collecting. And yeah, I just wanted to, to touch on that. We did, um, cards under 30, I think last time. So I tried try and do some more moving forward and different price ranges. Um, but yeah, these are getting into more of the big dog cards. These aren't the crazy expensive ones. Obviously we're not talking two, $300 range, but, uh, if you guys want to see that, let me know uh, in the comments and I'll do that. If you're this far in the video, oh my gosh, this video went long. If you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, obviously you enjoyed the content. So do me a huge favor, go down below and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and then leave me a comment. Uh, let me know what you thought of the cards on this list. And also if you want to join the discord channel, we have a discord server. The link is in the description. There's over 200 members now. Um, lots of really great people in there. We help keep each other up to date on when stuff's coming into stock, like the 151 booster bundles, the poster collections. I think a lot of people were picking up the Dollar General, um, were those poster collections or binders? I don't remember. Uh, I think it was a poster collection, but people were picking those up. Um, there's buy, sell, trade. There's lots of stuff on there. So uh, if you want to join, that would be cool. If not, no worries. And I think that's, we'll do it for this one. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.